Also, I'm curious with this news that rail companies have banned e-cigarettes from their trains and stations, because apparently, people using them make other travellers feel uneasy. I've been pondering this. Right now, how can someone puffing away using one of these e-cigs make you feel uneasy? New rules by train operators, including C2C, Greater Anglia, and First Capital Connect, all of whom operate services in our part of the country in the southeast and east Anglia, have announced a complete ban on passengers using the nicotine devices because they're vapors. That's how they were. They're vapors. Almost a million and a half Brits now use the electronic cigarettes, which resemble traditional fags, to help them overcome their addiction to tobacco. But the rail companies insist some varieties still expel nicotine and can make other passengers feel uneasy. A spokesperson for Greater Anglia said, "In common with the other train operators, we have recently taken the decision to include cigarettes in the smoking ban on our trains and stations. This decision is in line with the British Medical Association's recommendations that these cigarettes should be included in the ban on smoking in public places." Amanda Stanford, who represents the anti-smoking group Ash, described the ban as unhelpful and warned that it could drive many people trying to kick the habit with the fake cigarettes to、uh, going back to using tobacco. And last week it emerged the Transport for London (TFL), which runs our city's public transport network, is also considering a ban. They've also already been banned from J.D. Weatherspoon pubs, the e-cigarettes.、Um, do you agree with this ban? Oh eight four five six zero six zero nine seven three. Should e-cigarettes be banned from certain places? If so, where? I mean, I see more and more people using these things all over the place. I don't see what the problem is. Maybe you're someone who uses e-ciggies. You've been、uh, puffing away. On an e-cigarette over the last few months, do people react to you in a certain way? O eight four five six zero six zero nine seven three. And be honest with me: trains, stations, libraries. Someone puffing away on an ele- electronic cigarette. So no fire is involved. There's no smoke involved. It's vapor. Is that something that's likely to offend? Who does it offend? I suppose that's a question I'm asking. Who's supposed to be offended or feel uneasy about someone using these devices? O eight four five six zero six zero nine seven three. And e-cigarettes. I want to get some e-cigarette users on the air tonight. Find out what you make of this ban on trains and stations by various train operators. Should e-cigarettes be banned from certain places? I say no. If you've been addicted to the weed, and you're starting to come off smoking the fags and using an e-cig, and that's what you need, what, what, we should be encouraging this kind of behaviour. Surely, not saying, oh no, certain passengers, certain travellers may feel uneasy about you using an e-cigarette on the train. So that's what I want to try and understand tonight. Would you really feel uneasy? If you saw someone on your train or your bus or on the tube or in a library or in a shop, puffing away on one of these things, Dave is in Surbiton. David, hi. Yeah, I remember the late、um, Alan Carr wrote in his book.、Uh, he wrote a, a few books about addiction. One of them, the main one, Easy Way to, to Stop Smoking. And I remember in that he he wrote、um, how funny it was about the first,、um, you know, how they tried to sell cigarettes to. Whoever was buying it in England,、yeah. you know, the idea that you were going to buy tobacco and roll it up in a cigarette and inhale it and blow it out—it、mm. just—it's kind of like a silly concept. If you, you know, I mean, if it didn't exist and you tried to sell it to someone,、yes. it seems like such a funny. Well, what you know, you're saying like, yeah. has has、um, has the overtones of a Bob Newhart sketch. Do you know him, the American comedian in the fifties and sixties? Yeah, I don't know. I don't did, know the sketch you're talking did about. Did a lovely little monologue about、uh, introducing tobacco. Right. To civilization with、yeah. uh, with Sir Walter Raleigh, very entertaining. I think well, well maybe maybe it was based on that.、Uh, yeah. Maybe that's where everybody rests. Yeah, the whole whole idea.、From. So you dry these leaves out, yeah, yeah and then、exactly. you roll them up, yeah, you <laughs>、yeah. set fire to them, yeah, all of that、right. kind of stuff. And hell, what would you want to do that for? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah Bob Newhart, you man, for that. It's yeah, a very well, good well, little that's, sketch. That's probably where he went for references for. It was quite、yeah. funny when you think about it, when especially when you've been a smoker, you know. And I、mm. just, I, I use a smoker. I still do occasionally. I don't smoke as much as I used to. But but anyway, it's a ridiculous habit. So. 
the idea that we could make it out of fashion, you know, would yeah. be a good thing. You know, a little bit like snuff. I mean, yeah. snuff kind of came back a little bit after the smoking ban. I don't know if you noticed that if in the pubs. There's a couple of people that started bringing it in, but it's never going to come No, I've up. never seen it's anyone in my local have some well, snuff no, I've on seen their a, wrist. I, I, I saw one old, one old guy yeah. doing it, you know. It was like, but let's talk about the e-cigs, Dave. I mean, from, from what you've said so far, you, you support this idea that you shouldn't be able to use them on trains or stations. Well, I mean... I think, I think there could be a place for them in, in bars, in certain bars. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, you can drink alcohol out of a fish tank, so why shouldn't you be able to smoke an e-cigarette? Mm. Well, you well, you, hang on, hang on. Just, let me let me interrupt you um, because I, I find the need to. You're not smoking, are you? This is the thing. You're not smoking an e-cigarette. No, but if I if I'm on the tube, it's been fine. And I'm with my two-year-old. Yeah. I don't want the nicotine-laced vapor going into yeah. her face. I mean, at the end of the day. I, I think if people want to smoke e-cigarettes and it's going to stop them from smoking cigarettes, yeah. they're fantastic and yeah. a really good invention and, uh, and good luck. How, how is, how is the vapour going to get into your daughter's face? Well, if it, well, to be honest, I've not got any experience of seeing anyone smoke one. So, ah, um, so, you, so, so you're... Maybe I'm, yes. maybe I'm mistaken, but mm. I'm imagining that it's a vapour that looks like smoke that would come yeah. out and she could inhale it. Mm. Would it not be the case? Well, I don't know is the honest either, answer, but, but I mean, I but, like I mean, it. what I'm what I'm interested in is the idea that somehow it would be blown in her face. Well, it wouldn't bother me to be honest. Mm. If it was just me sat on the tube and someone smoking one, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't give a damn. But if it was, if it was with my two-year-old or my daughter, you know, whatever age she is, yeah. I wouldn't like it. I would just think, well, and it's just, you know, like I say, good luck to you if you want to do it. But yes. do it when you're outside the station or do it in a bar, I don't see a problem with that. But even in a restaurant, like I don't know, I just see it like it's a kind of fashion that. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's just get rid of it because, in, in some ways, it doesn't it encourages cigarette smoking as well. So it does kind of protect, per, perpetuate. How that, does it encourage habit. cigarette smoking? Well, because you're, you're carrying on the addiction. This is something that, that Alan Carr yeah. writes about, and I would recommend his book if anyone wants to try and give. Yeah, up. and for those, those people who aren't too sure, Alan Carr is the uh, the stop smoking guru. Yeah, yeah you're not talking the comedian, about not not the slightly yeah, tam comedian. We ought to make that clear. Account, I think, but he's, he's passed away from lung cancer, unfortunately. Yes, but um, kind, kind of ironic. Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go. But he was a really heavy smoker. Mm. But his book does make a lot of sense because, but it's the whole idea of. But, but hang on, uh, listen, no, on no, hang on, hang on. It, uh, it's a different way of Im- imbibbing. It doesn't work, it does it? This idea well, that e-cigarettes encourages smoking. Well, look at it this way: if you if you want to cut the habit, the best way to do it is not to pick up an e-cigarette. It's to mm. say it's just to cut the habit yeah. because it, as long as you're, it's like you're prolonging the habit, just like give up nicotine. You don't need to stick a patch on your arm. You don't mm. need to to chew nicotine gum, you don't, why, why do we have to have this silly addiction of puffing on a, on a stick? Well, you may it's think ridiculous. it's silly, but for some people, it's, it's something that they need. Um, pleasure talking to you, Dave. Thank you. There is an LBC presenter who puffs away on an e-cigarette. I think there's only one, isn't there? Only one I know of. But I'm, I'm a bit too scared to say who it is. Oh, she has. She's out of herself, has she? Dear old Petri. Raymond's in Edgware. Raymond, good evening. Hi, good evening, Duncan. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I think you have a great programme. I'm a first-time caller, oh. and I heard the subject, and I was incensed uh, to the fact that I had to phone you in about e-cigarettes. All right, well, listen, I appreciate your kind comments. Thank you. What do we make of this ban, then, from the rail companies? I think this is somewhat OTT. I, I agree. I believe it's OTT. I mean, there are certain airlines that do allow it, because, I, I, you know, I have flown with them, and... Yeah. There are, the, restaurants that encourage it. You, you're, you're, you're not doing anybody any harm. Uh, as the gentleman before said, he would worry about his child having it blown out. It's, it's a water-based vapour yes. that you are blowing out. Yeah. So you're not harming anybody. I mean, the, the, the cigarette itself, the e-cigarette itself, there are various ones out there. I mean, I, I smoke a particular one um, with a blue light. So consequently, nobody can confuse that yes. with a real cigarette. It's, I've it's, seen it's a vape stick. It's, it's a vape stick brand, yeah. And, yeah. and I find them terrific. I tried a few. Yeah. I find this particular one great. And yeah. a blue light, you know, who's ever seen fire with a blue light, you know? And the guy who actually was speaking just now on the radio, he... I don't believe has ever smoked, because he wouldn't know how hard it is to give it up. I well, well that, that, that's very clear, isn't it? I mean, uh, I think that came across. Um, do people, when you you're, use your e-cig somewhere, uh-huh. Raymond, I mean, do, do people criticise you? Have you ever been told to stop using it anywhere? Um, yes. 
as we say on, on certain airlines, that they don't yeah. like you to use them. Um, certain restaurants, people look at you. Other restaurants encourage you. And nine yes. times out of ten, I find a waiter coming over yeah. and, and asking me where I got it from and what is it. And it's wonderful, you know. Yeah. Can you have the name and the, or the, the website where I get them from, you know? I'll tell you what I'm struggling with is, is and, they, and they say, and this is what the, the rail companies have said, that... People using e-cigarettes make other travellers feel uneasy. That is the word, uneasy. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I don't, clearly, it's, it, surely, unless you're incredibly dim, you must realise it's not a real cigarette, given your one that's got a little blue thing on the end of it. Clearly it's not a glowing ember or yeah. whatever. How on earth could you feel uneasy about someone using an e-cigarette? I, I, I really don't know how they could feel uneasy. It's the same as if you, you see a man walking on a train with, with, with a walking stick. Do you feel uneasy about that? This guy who they're looking at, or a woman who they're looking at, who is smoking an e-cigarette, is trying to improve their health. Mm. I mean, it was all very well for the guy to say it's easy. It's not. I was a 40-a-day smoker. I do not. I haven't smoked a, a cigarette for a year. Now, I think that's got to be speak for itself, hasn't it? I think it has. Pleasure talking to you. Um, we'll talk again for your second time. Calling LBC 97.3 soon, I hope. Raymond in Edgware. Some good messages coming in regarding this. We'll get to those shortly. 84850 to text. You can tweet at LBC 97. And back to e-fags, e-cigs. Alan says, the smoke from these is about as damaging as your kettle boiling. The nicotine goes into the body and not into the atmosphere. The nicotine is the buzz. When you look at a room which has been smoked in for years, the staining is the tar and not nicotine. To ban these is an absolute nonsense, and these companies who object should be asked to justify it. And one here from Paul who says, I used e-cigs for six months. Uh, they were as expensive as tobacco, but without the stench. In public, people stared and reacted with horror and panic. I got tired of explaining to hysterical strangers, it's just vapour. I believe the rail operators banned e-cigs as they have sparked off serious security alerts and disruptions due to public hysteria and ignorance. I reverted to patches as cheaper and don't draw attention. My last real cigarette was 13 months ago, so one way or another, I succeeded in quitting. Uh, let's take another call on this. Alex is in Grove Park. Alex. Oh, good morning, Duncan. Um, like your previous caller, Raymond, I, I've also been smoking cig um, an e-cig for about a year now after a heart bypass last year. Yeah. But I feel that there's definitely something going on here because... I went to my local betting shop last Saturday and was told by the lady behind the counter that they are now banned in coral bookmakers. Really? Yes. And when I asked the reason why, she said, well, I don't know. That's the email that I've had from head office. Yeah. But um, me being um, somewhat of a, an old socialist, I, I think I can detect the hand of Linton Crosby in this one, perhaps. <laughs> um, uh, campaign advisor to Chief yeah. Scumbag, as you know. So um, that's about all I've got to say about it, but there's right. definitely something going on, you know. Well, it's an interesting observation you make. For those people who don't know, Linton Crosby is uh, advising the Conservative Party on on campaigning at the moment. He's a, he's Australian. I'm interested, though, Alex, why you think that he would be against e-cigarettes? Well, being, being the next lobbyist for tobacco companies... Yes. I think he's it makes the law a few favours there somewhere, you know. Yeah, so 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 in order to to get to, to kick e cigarettes into the long grass and, and maybe as as has been suggested by the anti smoking group Ash, if uh, e cigarettes are banned everywhere, might push people back to um, tobacco use. Pleasure talking to you, Alex. This is Mark in Gravesend on the subject of e cigarettes, Mark. Uh, hello, Duncan. Nice to speak to you again. Uh, pleasure, Sorry. sir. No, tell, so, tell me this. You use e-cigarettes, yeah? Yeah, I do, yeah. As a lorry driver, it's uh, against the law, as you know, to uh, to smoke in the vehicle, yes. like any public place. Um, but uh, just, just a quick story I've got for you from a friend of mine that I, I work with. He was on a, a plane, uh, long haul long -all flight, um, and he's, he's been an e-light smoker, for, and there are other brands available. He's been a smoker of these electronic fags for about a year now. They haven't yeah. touched a real yeah. fag for about a year. Yeah. Um, a long haul flight, uh, decided to have a little puff on his fag, uh, or, yeah, well, that's what you call it, I suppose. Um, <laughs> and the stewardess come up to him and said, uh, sorry, sir, um, you, can't, you can't smoke that uh, on the flight. Um, and there was no uh, written 
rules anywhere or anything like that, saying that the band or anything. But uh, so we questioned it, and she said that it's uh, it makes the other passengers feel uncomfortable, especially. Um, this is the crux of it all, yeah. especially the other smokers who aren't fortunate enough to have those um, <laughs> things. So, um, so he said, well, look, I'm gagging for a fag, and uh, I need to have a little bit of a puff. So she yeah. said, well, go into the toilets, because they can't, the sensors in the toilets can't pick up the, uh, the vapour. Really? So that uh, caller that said he was worried about his kids getting poisoned, yeah. but it, yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's, no, it's, no, it doesn't work. Now, let me ask you this, because your cab, your lorry cab, is your place of work, yeah? So yeah, that's it's also where I live for 12 hours. Yeah, so, so you're, you're, you're banned, effectively, under the smoking ban from smoking in that cab, agreed? Yes, yes. All right, but you can use your e-cigarette perfectly happily. Uh, uh, yes, at the moment, though, yes. I have to stress. I have to stress, at the moment, there is a, a, a big... Big supermarket chain who I used to work for, who've just brought in a ban on smoking the uh, the electronic fags in the cab, yeah. and I can only assume that they've done that purely and simply because of a lot of uh, false accusations mm. um, regarding people smoking in the cab where they've been seen smoking or presumably to be smoking. Well, I think we're going to see more and more of this because we had a caller earlier who works for a, who, who goes to a betting shop, Coral. And uh, he's not allowed to use it in there. We know Weatherspoon's pubs have stopped people from using them. We also know mm. Transport for London in the last week uh, are considering a ban as well. And what I don't understand is, and we haven't really got to the bottom of it, we might have to revisit it, is why mm. you're going to ban these devices when, when you actually consider that the, the impact on, on anyone's health is minimal. Well, I, I, to be honest, I, can, I really cannot get my head around why they're banned. Yeah. In fact, if, if it was me... I think I would be more in the way of encouraging it. Um, I, 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 I did pick up on a point you mentioned earlier that there could be a reason why they're banning it is uh, because um, they want them to carry on going back onto the fags. And to be honest, if I couldn't smoke uh, an e-light fag, I'd just smoke a normal fag. <laughs> it really wouldn't bother me. You know, if you're a smoker, you're a smoker. It's not a, not a nice habit. I've been trying to kick it for years, but yeah. um, you know, I've. I've, I've done it a couple of times, a serious accident, and the first thing I did was lit a fag up, and <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, seriously, and, and unfortunately, it, it's just something... Well, it's, it's a perverse wrong. situation when you have Ash, the anti-smoking mob, actually saying this ban is very unhelpful. Uh, listen, Mark, drive safely, and pleasure talking to you, that's Mark in Gravesend. Uh, listen, have a good Monday, I'm back Monday night from 10, but London's biggest conversation continues with Ollie Mann. Yes, indeed, Duncan. I'm uh, standing in uh, for some bloke called Duncan Parks this week. Apparently he's very good. Uh, you know, we, the whole discussion about e-cigarettes, yeah. you didn't cover the fact that my friend, I've got a friend who I'm certain deliberately smoked e-cigarettes really? just so that he could get in fights at clubs about it. Well, he sounds like a very sensible man to me. <laughs> it was just so that when the bouncers came up yeah. to him saying, put that out, yeah. he'd say, well, I'm allowed, it's not a real fag.